Alright, what is going on everybody? Today I'm here with another NBA 2K16 Historic My League Rebuild. And in this one we are doing the 2009-2010 New Jersey Nets. And if this video can get over 400 likes, I will come out with the next Historic My League Rebuild. So make sure you smash that like button. So this team was the post-Richard Jefferson, Vince Carter, Jason Kidd era. And they won 12 games this year. They went 12-70. and 70, And everyone thought they were going to get... Devin Harris, and they just got screwed over in the lottery, and they ended up with the fourth pick. They got Derek Favors, they ended up doing a blockbuster trade, where they got Darren Williams, and that just didn't pan out for them. So this is the team, you have Brooke Lopez, and the agents are right for this one, and I'll show you the free agent, so it's better this time. Devin Harris is an 82, Courtney Lee's a 75, Chris Humphreys is a 72, and Trenton Hassel is a 71, and Chris Douglas Roberts, CDR, is a 68. So this roster, will, I'll leave the name of it and the... Uh, creator in the link in the description so go check that out and like uh you can see the ages are about or pretty much right besides the only flow with this roster larry hughes is on the knicks i'm not sure why i think he should be on the hornets or the Cavs at this time so uh if i show you the free agents uh, it's not gonna be in rosters i have to go to free agents uh okay so it's like all 80s and below so it's not like anything that's gonna like insanely do a team and everyone um yeah, so, like, I guess, like, people are going to sign Wiggins, but I'm not going to cheat the game like that. It's all, it's, like, as much some person can do creating this team and how much time they want to spend. So, uh, we have our, we actually don't have our first round pick, which is kind of annoying because, like, at this time, we did. Uh, but now, since, like, the, uh, they made that trade with, like, uh, the Kevin Garnett one in real life, we don't have our pick now. So, I might have to trade Devin Harris to get this pick. From the Celtics, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to try my best. Damn, I don't think they're going to do it. Okay, never mind. I give up a 2019, uh, which won't even really come in handy in this. So I ha do have my first round pick this year. We have Brooke Lopez. Uh, I'm just going to see what I can get for him, and I might just blow up this team and just make it terrible. DeAndre Jordan at 21 years old. That's not that bad. JJ Redick, Sean Marion at 26, making a million a year. I would, but he's a free agent, and I I could probably get him for less than 20 million, so that would cost me less than. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because that would cost me less than Brooke Lopez would anyway. So let me do that. What do I want, Jermaine O'Neal? Why is he only 21 years? I'm not even gonna question that. Uh, so Sean Marion, we are getting and Drew Gooden. So I'm gonna do that trade. And yeah, so I'll see you guys at the end of season one. All right, so the end of season one, LeBron James is the MVP for the Cavs. He averaged 27, 9, and 7.5. And Brandon Jennings, rookie of the year out of high school on the Bucks. He averaged a double double, so he had an insane year. Lamar Odom, six man of the year on the Lakers. Joe Keem, no defensive player of the year, double double averaged. He was a beast on Chicago, and he also won most improved. And Billy Donovan, coach of the year for the Thunder. So Wade Westbrook, LeBron, Dirk as a 24 year old. Okay, that they got that age wrong. Uh, maybe they meant 34-year-old. Curry, All-NBA second team. Was he in the... Yeah, he was in the league by then. He was a rookie, so... Uh, he didn't win Rookie of the Year. Bledsoe, who was not in the league yet, so... That's where this guy got it wrong on the Clippers. Uh, Tim Duncan on the Spurs. Uh, Durant on the Thunder. And Al Horford on the Hawks. And then All-NBA third team, you could see that. So, I need you guys to let me know, um... So, like, what I had to do was trade for my first round pick. You guys saw that. So, let me know in the comments if you think it would be cheating or not to, like, turn on trade override and get my pick back because that's how it would be in real life and I traded my worst player for my pick back. Or let me know if I shouldn't do that and have to deal with my picks now. So, yeah, just let me know in the comments because that will help me out a lot. So, at the end of the season, we won 27 games. We went 27 to 55. Uh, worst in the East. Third, we're tied for second to worst. Uh, with the Knicks and the Sixers. So the Atlantic, oh my god, the Atlantic Division had four out of the, the four worst teams. You had the Celtics, you were the second best, and then you had the next four. Oh my god, that's terrible. And then, uh, so we're going to have like a top five pick, hopefully. Stats wise, uh, Lester Hudson, a 68 overall, probably filler player, scored 21 points from us. Okay, Sean Marion averaged 15 and 11. I'll definitely take that. Uh, Courtney Lee had a nice year, same with Drew Gooden and Chris Humphreys, but it still wasn't good. We're going to simulate the playoffs, see who wins it all. And the Lakers, Celtics, I'm pretty sure that's what it was in real life, maybe. Uh, yeah, I think it was. And Kobe, Fisher, Artes, Gasol, Odom, Andrew Bynum go on. 
to win it all. Kobe probably finally is MVP. Yes, he is. And he is 31. So these are the people retiring. Uh, these are not like the actual, like KG Allen. These are like the the ones now in real life, but then their 2010 versions are still on the roster. So that's bound to happen. Let's see right here to the NBA draft just to see what pick we get. Uh, hopefully it's a top five pick. I'm really hoping it is. Uh, Alfred Camino with an injury. Okay. And if you guys want like the 2010, 2011 draft class, just pretty much go to 2K Share and the features thing. Search 2010, 2011, and you can. Uh, now we get the fifth pick, and you can just like download them. And if you don't like it, you can like just download another one. So the fifth pick. Um, what can that get us? It's not gonna get us wall. I uh, maybe I want wall though. Yeah, see, like this is draft club blood so is, and maybe Paul George would be nice. I want if I traded my fifth pick and like this 19 year old could I move up actually I'm gonna do vice I'm gonna try to oh I can get actually nice offers for the fifth pick I can get the fourth pick all right so let's do that and now let's see if I can keep moving up and get to the first pick and let's see can I get can I go, jump to the second pick who's got the second pick uh, I definitely passed over it to there it is Timberwolves uh, I would have to give up. I don't want to give up that 2017 Boston pick. Uh, what if you give me your worst player? Uh, this. Damn it. This guy. Brad Olson. Uh, I don't want to give up that 2017 Celtics first round pick. But honestly, alright. I'll do it if it's going to get me John Wall. Alright, so we do that. And now I just got to move up to number one. Who. Knicks have it, or maybe the Kings. Uh, no, it's the Sixers. Okay, and they won't trade it to me. Don't do this to me Sixers I just traded next year Celtics pick which probably wouldn't be anything, but still uh, I'll give you that second All right, and what if I give you like uh, This guy uh -huh, It's not gonna work. I don't have any uh, I don't have enough assets Yeah, all right, I'm gonna have the second pick. I'll see you guys at rookie signings with who I take all right guys so Paul uh Alright guys, so John Wall did go number one and I couldn't do anything to get that pick uh, even during the draft. So I had to go with Paul George at number two. Chris Humphreys, I'm not going to bring back now with that option because James Howard, Wade Pierce, they're all free agents. Lawson, Duncan, DeRozan, Isaiah Thomas. Uh, but actually, Lawson's a free agent. That would have been a nice signing. Uh, qualifying offers, we have my free agent. Sean Merritt wants a test. Courtney Lee wants $5 million. I'll offer him that. Uh, Chris Humphreys, I'll give him three million, but uh, we got a lot to do. So sixty-eight million. Kobe Bryant is here. Uh, okay, what's well, definitely all for Kobe? Four-year deal, player option, no trade clause. We just gave him the best offer we could, and hopefully he accepts that. Whereas number one offer, uh, please Kobe. All right, and if we can get maybe like a Steve Nash, that would be. Cool, but I don't know if I want to go for Steve Gilbert Arenas. Oh man! All right, let's offer Gilbert that contract, and just in case that doesn't really work out, I will offer Isaiah Thomas a fifteen million dollar contract. All right, so shooting guard, uh, I'll also have Tracy McGrady a deal, and Dwayne Wade I can offer. It doesn't make me more uh, let me go more than twenty five million. Brandon Roy I will offer a deal. Uh, it doesn't make let me go more than that. All right, small forward. I would offer Pierce, but I, I'll offer. Do I have bird rights? No, I don't have bird rights on Shermary. Great. So yeah, he's good as gone. Paul George is probably going to be the starting uh, small forward. Who? Uh, that was such a bad trade then, giving a Lopez. Uh, power forward or center? Lamar Odom, he's asking for 18. What about like Jared Sollinger? He's asking for 8. Oh, man. Okay. Our bigs are going to be terrible next year. Unless Yao Ming wants to come here. Uh. Yeah, I don't know why Yao Ming never wants to come to the teams I offer him. Yeah, screw you, Yao Ming. Uh, Dwight Howard wants a lot. Joe Keep Noah, rainy defensive player of the year, wants a lot. Birdman, only, he's 38. Al Horford wants 19 million. Whiteside wants that much. Enos Kanner. Uh, Enos Kanner, that's not the real, uh, the one that would be in the NBA yet. All right, I'll just offer one to Joe Keep Noah, and he doesn't want to come here. All right, uh, Al Horford. So let's simulate a day here. We get Kobe. That is clutch. 
I'm not going to sign Al Horford just yet. So, Wade goes to the Bulls. Damn it, I want to go with Ernest. He goes to the Pistons. Someone goes to the Sixers. All right, so we get Kobe, though, in Brooklyn. That is cool. Uh, Rondo, I can offer a deal. And Chauncey Billups. And now, let me offer back a deal to Horford. Hopefully, he accepts that. All right, so... McGrady steps another offer. Damn, we didn't. Oh, we did get Isaiah Thomas. Can I get him and Horford? I can. Okay. Okay. Uh, Brandon Roy. He's a shooting guard. I can actually get Brandon Roy instead. Uh, and then play him at point guard because he is six two. So I'm gonna do that. Oh wait, no, I can't get Horford in him. Okay, so I'm gonna have to pass on Roy because I did sign Kobe and get Horford and Isaiah Thomas. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. All right, so. I'm going to simulate player progression. I think we'll go a year with this team. Uh, and then we're going to, if it doesn't do well, I'm probably going to change a lot in the offseason. So we have Kobe, Al Horford, Isaiah Thomas, Drew Gordon, Paul George. So yeah, I think this team can maybe contend for like a fifth seed or something like that. So I'll see you guys at the end of season two. Get that. James Harden on the Thunder wins MVP. He averaged 27 points and nine and a half assists. Demarcus Cousins actually won rookie of the year. I could have took him, but I feel like I get Demarcus Cousins in a lot of my, my leagues. And he did win it on the Spurs. I don't know how the Spurs got the third pick, but they did. George Hill, sixth man of the year on the Nuggets. DeAndre Jordan, defensive player of the year on the Clippers. Leandro Barbosa, remember his prime days? Uh, on the Suns, he wins most improved. And Jason Kidd, who's now the coach of the Thunder, wins one coach of the year. There is Kobe. He averaged, oh my god, 33 points, 7.7 rebounds, 8 assists. That might have been his best season ever. Besides... That might be better than his 0506 season, just because of his like rebounding and assist total. Uh, but that's crazy. That's probably the only net we got on any of these. Uh, he's also on defensive first team. He averaged 2.2 assists. He is so freaking good. To Paul George, there he is, overkey first team. He averaged 12.5 points and 7.2 assists. So that was really good by him. We were the sixth seed in the West. Uh, we won 46 games. That I said the West, the East. The Hornets were the one seed. With, uh, well, they signed D'Andre Russell and Bradley Beal, or, yeah, and they have Jason Richardson, Boris Dio, Tyson Chandler, Noah, uh, okay, so a couple of young people that were in free agency from the roster, uh, mix up, but player stats, yeah, Isaiah Thomas was a beast, too, uh, Al Horford was nice, Paul George was good, power forward was our weakest position, but Drew Gooden didn't do bad at all, so coaching, you guys tell me to not do the coach, uh, the scoring options, so the bench is really bad for us, oh my god. Uh, yeah, you guys tell me not to do the coaching, the scoring options, so I'm going to leave those uh, with no preference. Taking on the Pacers in the first round, who do they have? They have Dwight Howard. Oh, my God, they signed Dwight Howard. And what he put up this year, 24 and 13. Nice. Uh, Paul George, why? Why? Why is he on this team? Uh, Chris Anderson, Derek Fisher, Dennis Schroeder, why? Okay. Uh... Let's see how round one goes. We're going to simulate the current round. And I didn't expect to win. And we do lose in six. All right. So we're going to simulate to see who wins the NBA Finals. It is going to be the Thunder with their big three of Harden, who's a 94. Durant, who's a 94. And where's Westbrook, who's a 92. So Finals MVP is going to be Kevin Durant. All right, guys. I'm here at the NBA draft, but I'm going to be skipping over because we don't have any picks. And this was... The draft quest I'll show you, uh, or scouting probably went away, yeah, it was like the one who was in it, like Kyrie was in it, uh, that draft class, uh, can I check out the, the draft summary, I don't think I can, maybe social media, yeah, like Jonas Valanciunas, Nicole Miritich, Kenneth Fareed, uh, Isaiah Thomas, I don't, I'm confused, I don't even know, I'm not gonna get into that stuff, uh, Jimmy Butler was in this one, uh, Tobias Harris, uh, Enos Kanner, Reggie Jackson, Tristan Thompson, Kemba Walker, Koi Thompson, Kyrie, and Kawhi Leonard. So, uh, let's go to team player options. Uh, I don't have any. Okay, so Vince Carter accepts his deal. Chris Paul on New Orleans. Griffin's a free agent. Kyle Lowry's a free agent. Rudy Gay's a free agent. Kyle Lowry's still on Houston. Uh, I remember when the Knicks almost traded, like, Elon Trumper for him, and they thought that was, like, not enough at the time, and now just fuck at the players. So, none of these guys I want to bring back. Uh, I'm fine with the team as of now. We have 9 million, and I think I want to get, like, a good like a good power... F well, not a good power forward, but, like, a serviceable one. 
Uh, Zach Randolph wants 14. Damn, all right. What about Zaytou Sigalskis? He wants 8 million. Let's offer him that. Uh, Thiago Splitter wants 3. We can give him that. Uh, Joe Johnson wants 20 million. Okay. Well, he did have a nice year. Swaggy P wants 8 mil. Uh, why is there two Joe Johnsons? <laughs> okay. Uh, Iggy. Actually, I want Iggy Dollar. Yeah, please... Uh, I'm not going to sign Zay Trudis because I would like Iguodala. Uh, let me actually give him more than that. I'll give him like seven. And I'll give him a player option. Because this is the last year we have to do this. Uh, he's mulling offers, but I think I'll accept it. Yes, there we go. We get him. Uh, now I'm going to simulate to player progression. And then I'm pretty much going to simulate to the deadline. And if we're doing bad, I'm going to move Horford and Isaiah Thomas. But if we're doing good, I'm going to keep the team the same. So, yeah, we only have... Uh, this is pretty much everybody that's going to play these top six. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So, I'll see you guys at the deadline. Alright, at the end of Season 3, Stephen Curry is the MVP. Kyrie Irving, Rookie of the Year for the Knicks. Reggie Jackson, Sixth Man of the Year for the Pacers. Dwight Howard, also Defensive Player of the Year for the Pacers. That was Evolution, Most Improved, and Steve Kerr, Coach of the Year. Uh, I'll go through to see if we have any nets. There's Kobe, down in a lot this year, but played five minutes, five less minutes per game. All-NBA third team, there's like Richard Hamilton. I don't think we're going to have any nets, but Kobe's on all defensive first team. And that looks like it's about it. There's Chase McGrady. Okay, I'm glad I didn't sign him. Uh, so we were bad this year. We were the eighth seed. 39-43, we have to take on the Bulls in the first round. Who? Oh my god, they signed D-Wade. They have 295-plus overalls. Like, I honestly don't know how we were that bad. Like, we had Kobe Bryant, who averaged 19 points. We had Al Horford, who averaged 19-10. and 10. Isaiah Thomas, who averaged 16 and 7. Ryan Anderson, who I traded for at the deadline. We had Paul George, Andre Iguodala, Drew Gooden. I really don't know how this team did that bad. Uh, but we just got to hope we do well in the playoffs. So, I guess Ronnie Price, I want to give these guys like 8 minutes each. Drew Gooden can get like 22. All right, Kobe can get 38. Ryan Anderson can get 33. Isaiah Thomas can get 35. Al Horford can get 35. And we can give 33 to Georgia. I'm just going to make scoring options. I have to. I just, I don't know. I feel like I got to switch something up. So, uh, take it on the Bulls in round one. We lose game one. We lose game two. We lose game three. We win game four. We win game five. Okay, so we're making it a little bit interesting. Home for game six. Can we pull off an upset? No, we cannot. And we lose by 16. It's just too hard to stop waiting, Rose. So, this team is pretty much a playoff team for uh, years to come. And with that roster, with Kobe Bryant, the Cavs beat the Warriors in the finals in what this would be, uh, what, 2012 uh, season. Which, okay, I guess the Warriors are just getting uh, up there pretty quick, uh, quicker than they, they, than they did in real life. I can't talk today, but yeah. So that is going to be it for the video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. And also let me know if you think it's cheating if I also trade for my picks back when I don't really have them in real life. But, uh... Me, and also in the comments, let me know what team you want me to see you use next. And yeah, so subscribe for more historic my leagues, future my leagues, current my leagues. And yeah, like I said, this can get us over 400 likes. I'll come out with the next one in four days. Uh, I'm kind of going with the cycle here. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.